What's on the menu today? Well, I've got another what I ate in a day video so you can see exactly what I ate for this wonderful day. Start the day off with a giant fruit bowl and you saw before the intro, all the fruit that I chopped up into this fruit bowl. Definitely a lot of calories. I didn't need to make a smoothie or anything else. This was so great. If you guys like these videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. If you like these, all this fruit, it was so good. So ripe, so sweet. Then while I prepared lunch, I snacked on a few lentil sprouts and some sauerkraut. I just went into the fridge and grabbed some while I chopped all the ingredients and put them into the dehydrator for my lunch soup. So these are the ingredients after they had been in the dehydrator for about an hour at 115 degrees Fahrenheit. There's asparagus, sunchoke, peas and onions and tomatoes in there. This is the soup base. It's a mango apricot. The recipe is in my soup book. The soup base is this spicy ginger chicky soup. I added more lentil sprouts because you can never get enough lentil sprouts. And here is the sauce. So again, the sauce is the soup base for the spicy ginger chicky soup. And you can find that recipe in my soup ebook. The link for all of my eBooks is right here on the screen and you can get 40% off any or all of the recipe eBooks with code rawfood40. So head on down to the description box below and check those out. I added some dried chives to the top of my soup and some dried parsley too. Here it is. It smells amazing. And I really like making soup for lunch because it's low fat. I did add chia seeds to the soup and it's really easy to make. I can just throw the frozen veggies that have already been chopped and ready to go there in the freezer or fresh, the tomatoes and the red onion. So it's really easy. And then once it's lunchtime, I just blend up the soup base, just kind of like a savory smoothie and just pour it with those and enjoy. Then I read a little bit of Fiber Fueled. I'm rereading this book. Fiber Fueled has definitely changed my life and the reason why I have increased my variety. So I did read a little bit of that today. And then for dinner is my variety salad. I try to get as many different ingredients into my salad as I can. Again, it's not about eating massive quantities of one or two foods, but trying to add more variety using smaller quantities of more things. The salad still ends up being gigantic, but there are more varieties of foods in there to provide a variety of fiber for our gut microbiomes. So I've got radishes and golden beets and red onion, all kinds of deliciousness in here. And of course we added kimchi. I've been eating a lot of kimchi lately. I really enjoy it on my salads. I cannot get over how beautiful the colors are in my salads. The more variety I add, the more colors I get in my salads. So this dressing is, I don't have a recipe for it. I just kind of threw some stuff together. It's tahini and a little mustard powder, some maple syrup, some grated garlic, just kind of a mix of all kinds of things. I just made it up. But here is my day, over 2,500 calories, 12% total calories coming from fats. Let's check out a little bit of the nutrition here. My fiber looks great and protein, 64 grams, a very easy. 99% of my targets. Let's see what that one percentage was. And this is great tool chronometer to kind of see where you're at. I got all my choline and more than enough calcium. My iron, everything looks good. Oh, there it is, selenium. 
The selenium was a little low and that's why I didn't get 100%, but I could have easily had a Brazil nut to get that. My fats look good, my omega-3 is looking good, and so is my protein. So thanks for watching, guys. If you love these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, we've got 40% off any or all of our raw vegan recipe eBooks. The code is raw food romance, and the link is right here on the screen as well as in the description box below, along with the links to all of the eBooks in print version that you can get off Amazon. So head on down to the description box and check out all the links. And until the next video, I love you all as always and fruit on.